Hey. Hi there. Yes. So uh, here you are. Everything yeah. is working. You're sharing your screen. So this is perfect. OK. So it works. Yeah. Yeah, it works very well. Your sound is good. Uh, we've got a nice light. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty good. Thank you. So I uh, just uh, wait four minutes to begin, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. There is no backstage. You don't have to click on anything. Just, uh, just uh, have a look at, at the clock and, and uh, launch on work. Okay, got it. Yeah. Very good. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. So hello everyone. Uh, I'm not sure I should say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I am Forrest from Beijing, China. So right now it's in the morning, and today in Beijing it's a just a very lovely weather. Uh, I'm so glad to be here to join API Days Hong Kong. 
Last year, I've been to uh, Hong Kong to make a presentation on Cloud XPO Hong Kong. Uh, I think it's a lovely place. Yeah, I hope we could meet uh, each other face to face after the virus is over. It is the first time for me to present uh, in English. I'm, I also, so I'll try my best to make it clear for this topic. Uh, and uh, uh, because it's an event in Hong Kong and uh, uh, the only sentence I, or only word I could speak in Cantonese is, is Ho San Lin. It means amazing, awesome. I wish all you could have a wholesale experience on API Days Hong Kong. So let's move on. So uh, thanks for the invitation from API Days and uh, Develop Institute. Today I will make a presentation called Build Your APIs and Develop Hybrid Scale. Uh, this topic I will just show, show you uh, more details about the uh, develops and some experience from China. Uh, I hope you could learn how to practice DevOps in your own company to uh, learn more cases from the other companies. Uh, DJ from DevOps Institute would, like, would have joined me together to present, but unfortunately he got sick. So uh, right here, I also wish he could get real soon. Uh, so let's start. Uh, this is our um, brief introduction on myself. Uh, I'm leading the DOPS Foundation development in China and uh, I'm also a DevOps Enterprise Coach. If you want to know what is DevOps Enterprise Coach, you could see the details in the slide. Uh, and I'm also uh, the ambassador for uh, the DevOps Institute, the Continuous Viewer Foundation, and the Jinx Community. Uh, and I have also uh, been an organizer of the Jinx User Conference in China. It is a very lovely event like the API Days. Uh, we all share a lot of things about Jinx. Uh, so just uh, there is my uh, the QR code on my LinkedIn. If you are interested in to communicate, to communicate more details, we could to chat on the LinkedIn. Uh, and my name is uh, Forrest Jing and uh, my, uh, and also this is my Chinese name. Yeah, okay. That's for today. I'll show you with five part of DevOps. And the first one is why DevOps? Why we need DevOps? Yeah, and why DevOps could works. Uh, and second one, what is DevOps? And uh, the third one, how to practice DevOps? Uh, for this part, I have just three points to share with you. The first one is model of DevOps. We need a model to practice, to uh, where to start and uh, uh, where could find the metrics. The second one is the tool of DevOps. The third one, human of DevOps. Uh, and uh, I will just move on about a uh, part of DevOps simulation. Uh, I want to uh, because it's a workshop, so I want to make a, a simulation for you to uh, make it clear how we practice DevOps in our company. And uh, uh, just for the fifth, uh, we'll just uh, uh, share some more details, some more things about DevOps and uh, uh, what I think is very really important for us to do DevOps. First, let's check out why we need DevOps. Uh, I think everybody could uh, confirm that uh, this sentence is too. Software is eating the world. So just uh, uh, I have just uh, uh, to watch your uh, just the line just uh, uh, for the keynote, and some people have to see that mostly in China, in Beijing, in Shanghai, in Shenzhen, uh, most of people could uh, to uh, to call. Yeah, to call their food and the real delivery, the best food to you in just in 30 minutes. So that is what the software has influenced our world. And just in the, uh, just in the financial industry, just in China, uh, there is a bank called CMB. Yeah, it's a very famous bank in China. And uh, uh, we could just use their app on their phone. We could, we, mostly we do not go to their uh, just to, uh, how to say then to go to the onsite bank to do our to do our uh, just uh, transforming or just uh, to the, to the payment. Mostly we just to do it on the uh, on app. So we think the software is in world, but the uh, software development team 
has become a very important engineer to build the world. DevOps is a way how this engineer work, but uh, uh, right now maybe it's not like uh, uh, just uh, a core things to be an engineer to work because there are not uh, just the problems they have to solve. Uh, I will make an example to uh, explain what I'm thinking. Uh, I want to know: Is there anybody like the uh, familiar one? Yeah, uh, uh, just uh, every boy want to have a just uh, to a car and drive it fast. So I, I like the familiar one. The picture is a favorite team in for one in, in F1. Uh, it it is a. Could you guess how long they need to finish the work for the stop? Yeah, it's one point eight eight second. It's just a very short time. I think. It's a super high efficiency, and I think if we, if our just a software team could do, uh, your, could do their work like this in a high efficiency, we need to deliver a feature a few weeks. What is the problem? Just in my company, just a, a last few years, uh, all, we just only to release one version to our customers once a year. Once a year, just uh, a lot of customer just uh, just to complain. You know, you are too slow to respond to our features or to respond to our requirement. So why we could not work together with the tester, the ops, like the referee team. So let's watch your movie or just a, a very short movie. This is their ideal software team, what they work. They are just the tester, the architect, the ops, and the tester, the developer, and a lot of roles. But this is a real software team. Yeah, there is a fire. Yeah, everyone is struggling. The programmer, the architect. This is a product manager. Yeah, it, it, everyone is struggling. Yeah, and uh, there are not all just a problem, the accident. So we want to find some way to make it different. Because to be like and make their software engineer to be a real engineer, like their just the, maybe their industry for their vehicle. They're just uh, construction. Uh, so somebody have found the way in 2009. There is a, a presentation just uh, on Velocity 2009. Uh, the name is called uh, 10 plus. Yeah, 10 plus deployment deploys uh, per day. Dev and Ops Corporation at Flickr. Flickr is a, a very famous our website and unfortunately we could not access it uh, and uh, there is two guys called Paul and John have just made a presentation and have influenced influence a lot of people in the world uh, their topic have just two parts one part is about technical and second part is about the culture uh, from the technical they have summary uh, there is six point the first one to automated infrastructure they have shared at Flickr what they have done to make it possible to deploy 10 plus time per day. The first one is about automating infrastructure. They use like the uh, regular uh, environment as code, just like the Docker. We just write the Docker file. Uh, and at the same time, they are using uh, like the Puppet, the Ansible, the stack, like that, the tool to write their uh, environment as code so they can make it clear that every environment is is the same. They are not different. Yeah. So I think uh, you may have seen you have been known that a lot of people just complain. Uh, there is a there is a bug on the online. But the developer think it's your problem. It's the environment problem. And think about is shared version control. Shared version control is very a famous practice from Google. Uh, I don't need to wait to wait anybody to wait anyone. Uh, I have just uh, to 
uh, just to I could to also to read your code, and I, if I need, I could just to to, uh, to modify it to update it, and you can just confirm. And the third one is one step build and deploy. Uh, I think it's a very important thing. Uh, there is no need for someone to uh, make their build or deploy for you. Every developer could do it. And the first one, feature flag. It's like a feature talk. But in just the most uh, tennis companies, they are not very used. Uh, very familiar to use the feature flag uh, because we are in some more complexity in the source code. Yeah, uh, but it could make it it possible to deploy the code even the code is not ready. So we do not wait for anyone. If I am ready to deploy, but uh, my uh, my colleague couldn't, so I could also to deploy his code with me together online. But it will not to make it any any accident. Then the fifth one, share metrics. And uh, the sixth one, the IRC and I'm robot. That's uh, right now. The snack is very popular, and in China we have the uh, Ding Ding, uh, the WeChat. Also, we could to communicate with each other really easily, and uh, uh, we could use the I'm robot. Yeah, just like the uh, from GitHub, where we have the uh, Hubbot. Uh, Hubbot, we could to uh, just. Uh, uh, there is a practice called chat ops. We could send a message like uh, a reboot, we are way move on. So the robot will help us to reboot. We need, we need to, we don't need to log into the terminal. From the culture, respect, trust, the health, the attitude about failure, awarding blames. I think the third one is, and the fifth one, the fourth one is very important. Uh, the third one about their failure. I think just, uh, Anyway, uh, I think our operations could to know that the failure, we could not offend it. We will face the failures all the time. So we'll have the health attitude so that we could design our, our just architecture for the feature, for the failure. So I think uh, when we just talk the APIs these days, because we have think it's very important to uh, face the failure to design our APIs. And the first one, our world blame. Just the most of the companies, if the uh, IT operations or the developer has made some uh, big accident, they will be fired. But from the mobs, I think it's very important uh, culture and uh, uh, for their blameless. If we have a bigger, great accident, and after that, we are just fired them. They have learned a lot of experience from the accident and go to your uh, just uh, competitor to work. That is not a good thing. So, the team and the operations, uh, the uh, ops should work together to cooperate together to make it possible to deploy 10 times a day. So we have found a new way. We call it DevOps, just like the loop. Yeah, the DevOps from the Wikipedia, we, uh, we have a, a definition. Uh, I have to clear and there is no official um, definition of DevOps in the world. Everybody could have their our own definition from the Wikipedia have found the sentence to make uh, you more easily to understand it. The DevOps is a set of practice that combines the software development uh, development team, the dev, and the IT, IT operations, the ops. It aims to shorten your system development life cycle and provide continuous delivery with high software quality. The DevOps is a complementary with ideal software development. Maybe you know the idea. And the several developed aspects came from the ideal methodology. So uh, the developed come out and in the uh, 2009 in Belgium, Patrick has just built this world. And you can see we have do a lot of things to make it more clear or uh, just uh, in the right side, there is a, a triangle. Uh, we call it the developed schools. We have five we have four uh goals the first one is our productivity we need more productivity to deliver more feature and second one is we need to faster to response the our customer speed uh, to response the customer's uh, requirement and we need the uh, lower cost and we need better quality and the security so that is our our, uh, our four goals that we need to use use develops to uh, uh, to get it, to achieve it. Uh, and 
DevOps is not uh, come out owning. It's not uh, DevOps not fat only. Uh, there are other technical evolu evolution is happening too. You can see uh, in the de development process, the, from the waterfall to agile to DevOps, and just in the application architect architecture, uh, just as we talked today in our, in our topic about APIs, the application architecture from the just the, the monolithic, yeah, from the monolithic and uh, to the end tiers, maybe the three tiers, three tiers. Uh, just from when I just start to work, I just use the uh, three tiers next the MVC or framework to development. And just right now, we face a micro service. If there is no micro service, DevOps uh, is not very. A, in a good good situation, but if we use DevOps, but uh, our architecture is not in microservice, it's also not a good choice. And from just for the development and packaging, uh, we just from the physical server to virtual server, and right now we use container. Yeah, the Docker, the Kubernetes. Right now, most of the bank in China, like the uh, maybe the biggest bank, uh, uh, just uh, maybe the like SABC, the CMB bank, them are using Kubernetes. And uh, from the application infrastructure, from data center to the host to cloud. Right now in China, maybe the Ali Cloud, the Tencent Cloud, the Huawei Cloud, uh, the not on uh, public cloud and the private cloud to uh, support. So just the uh, DevOps is the corporate with microservice container and cloud. So it could make it be uh, to achieve their post goal, their faster response, and more productivity. Yeah. And uh, we are just uh, uh, making it more clear. Make, uh, and for the process, I want to make it more clear that uh, I have a zero picture and from the waterfall to agile to DevOps. Uh, just in the waterfall, the dev, the development team will just finish all the work and throw it and throw it to the testing. After you finish the testing and they will show it to the ops, ops will deploy it to the production environment and that moment there are a lot of bugs. Lots of problem. I uh, could deploy after we deploy there are lots of bugs. So that is just awesome. That, that is just uh, uh, a just uh, uh, not very good things. And for the agile, we have using the iteration way to work. Yeah. So the dev and the test team have cooperated together, and we have uh, just uh, to developer and the test uh, 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 iteration by iteration, but. We'll have finished all the work together and throw it to the production. At that moment, uh, that didn't work. And there's nothing have improved. So we have changed. We have changed. We have just uh, uh, to extend, extend ideal measure to the production environment. So it's end-to-end -end ideal. It's end-to-end -end ideal. So uh, just in the uh, DevOps, uh, in the DevOps way, the dev test ops and work together. Every iteration, we will finish dev test and the deployment to the production environment. So we have moved forward from agile to DevOps. Now to make it more clear about uh, how different about the DevOps and from the waterfall and the agile, we have to improve a lot of uh, ways to uh, uh, to make it more easy to development. Yeah. So after I make it clear uh, why we need DevOps, what is DevOps? Right now, we need to know how we could to practice DevOps. So we have just uh, 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 create a measure called MTH. Uh, the MTH, the first one, is a model tool and human. For the, to, for the, just the, uh, the model, uh, we think we need to build our enterprise level standards in your own company, like the CMI, like the ISO, like that. Uh, and from the scope, we just uh, uh, need to uh, make it more clear that uh, uh, the scope from the project management, from uh, just the CD, CO, microservice, 
and uh, rebuild and we need to build the quality and the security in that is their scope like maybe like their uh, ideal and the, their uh, IT operations uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the practice into the uh, uh, enterprise naval standard and uh, uh, for the value of this model we think it's very useful to measure it's a measurement to measure uh, the speed, the quality, and the security of our of our software, our service. We need their model, and uh, uh, in most of the companies, they are just uh, to do the uh, not a boss to uh, measure the work to measure the work by just only one or two metrics. Is that that is not very good? Maybe uh, uh, I think most of the developers hate that just uh, to measure me about their uh, code map. I think it's just a uh, it's a very bad thing. So we need more metrics to uh, make it as a uh, just a uh, a model, maybe from the uh, one level to five level, uh, like that. Yeah. So right now uh, we need to uh, make it as a measurement, and the second one about the assessment to uh, just in China, a lot of company has done about the assessment to uh, know what is the level, what is the problem right now, and about their tools, it's their strategy. Uh, there is a strategy that which just in China, most of the uh, companies is doing our self development for platform and uh, to buy some tool and uh, adopt open source. Open source is very popular in, in most of the Chinese companies. And uh, uh, for their tools, their goal of the, the goal of to build a tool, there is a tool self-service. We do not need the ops to de deployment. We need the developer to do it. Uh, in some of the uh, bank in China, then they are just uh, uh, the developers doing their deployment. And about the human, the codes, the coach needed a uh, model and needed a tool. They have these two things to uh, support, to coach their uh, software team. And about their culture, it's also very important. So we need a model to guide the software team. And uh, we need the tool to support their software team. And we need the human to coach. Yeah, we need some expert to do it. Uh, about the, the model of the DevOps, we, uh, the DevOps Foundation have just created a, a model called uh, ASEM. It's an advanced software engineering uh, engineering model. Uh, it has a lot of power from the process. Uh, we just begin with the development management from just like the Scrum, the Kanban, and the uh, Synchron is a software delivery. We use the uh, CICD. And the technical operation, there is a lot of practice like the SIE, the ITIL. Uh, and for the architecture, maybe most of you are just very concerned that uh, applic application design. Uh, we should to make our software, uh, our application to be, to have some feature like uh, uh, the extensibility, the availability, uh, observability, or scalability. Yeah, it's very important. So if our application, our software has this feature, so they could be our software in develop time. Yeah, mm, just maybe for the availability, uh, as I had mentioned, that there we are not a uh, failure in our just uh, production environment. So we need the uh, availability to make it more uh, available. Yeah, just like we have just uh, uh, maybe uh, and, uh, uh, we have two instances. Yeah, so uh, maybe just, it's just uh, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, A and B, just like that, or it's just uh, their like their master or master, master slave, just like that, that architecture. And the API with the application design is also a very important part. And for the security, there is a new word, we call it DevSecOps. It means just to build security into their DevOps. It have their secu secure uh, sick dev and the sick test and sick ops. That's very uh, important three part. Uh, and just to, in the outside, we also have the organization and culture platform and tool. Uh, that's all the same. And the, from the um, best, uh, most important part, the process, that's uh, 
uh, from their business feature to online uh, service. That is an uh, uh, end to end process. And from the, I will just uh, to make some details for you from the Scrum and Kanban, just the development process. Uh, the Scrum is, is created by the uh, uh, two experts. The, we, I have just uh, to uh, copy our, uh, a picture from the Scrum.org uh, for you. Uh, the Scrum, we all have the product backlog. We have product backlog and the sprint planning to uh, find some items from the product backlog into the sprint backlog. So sprint means their iteration, maybe it's uh, two weeks, four weeks, and uh, we are just uh, uh, enter the iteration and the development test and deploy every, uh, every just iteration. Every day we have a daily Scrum daily meeting to uh, to communicate with each other. Scrum is just a, uh, it's a system like uh, to make you communicate with each other more just uh, frequently. And uh, uh, after all we have finished our work, we will have a sprint review event to uh, just to, to share, to, to show with our customers, our, our product manager. And uh, after we have confirmed, we will have improvement to deploy. There is another event or meeting called Scrum Retrospective. This meeting is that to just to, to reward, to understand what uh, what I have, we have done is very good, or what I have done is not very good. So not very good, we have to, to improve it. That is our Scrum. Yeah, it's also our, our just our agile method. And the second one is from uh, it's our Kanban. Yeah, it's also very necessary, and most of most of the our Chinese companies are also practice it. Uh, it's also a just a, a a method we use to uh, to guide our development development process. And second one, very important software delivery. We have used our continuous integration, our continuous delivery. Yeah, uh, this is our process. Then. Our developer has read your code on the local and then check into their source uh, repository like, like GitHub. And uh, then we will trigger, then we will trigger their CS server like their Jenkins. Yeah, Jenkins. And they will build, test, and get some result. If it's just a fit, fit, failed to uh, compile or pass their unit test, they will get back to their uh, developer and de fix it. If it had passed, we'll go to the test environment and go to the staging environment and uh, just uh, for the production environment. And uh, if the business people think it's ready, we will do to deploy it to their production. So that is a continuous way. Yeah, it just uh, occur uh, day by day. Yeah, every developer will just uh, to uh, submit and post their code to their source repository uh, once a day. Yeah, so that is a new way we are just to build a loop, yeah, it's a circle to write a code, to build it, and to test it. If it's okay, we will release it. Release After release, we will operate to monitor or like that. And uh, for other uh, continuous theory, there is a CD capacity maturity model in China. Yeah, uh, and right now this uh, model we call their standard is also our international standard in the ITOT. Yeah, it's a, a very big international standard st standard organization. Uh, we have just uh, uh, seven. We have just uh, uh, seven part. Yeah, first one the configuration management. Uh, we we are use the version control like their feature brand, it's a very important practice. And uh, we also will make their artifact management like uh, maybe some other people, maybe you will own uh, like their Maven, their Nexus and their artifactory to manage your artifact. Yeah, uh, maybe some of you may know that uh, there are not a lot of security problem caused by your uh, just a dependency like in your in your Java and uh, uh, in China we have uh, just uh, uh, fast JSON uh, dependency. Then have course a lot of security problems. So we have to use this measure to manage it. And for the change management, if you want to change the code, you need the work item. 
after you just uh, finished to uh, uh, maybe to modify the code and you have to submit your code and we have a code review practice. Uh, some of people will review your code. It's very important because some very just a uh, uh, terrible accident has occurred in some company in China that uh, caused by their uh, big uh, as a big code, big code, rep code review. Yeah, it's very important practice. And the second one is uh, uh, build and the continuous delivery. We need to uh, unify build environment on Kubernetes. A lot of company in China, they are using Kubernetes to be a building, build, cl build cluster. Yeah, it's just to make it uh, their all their build environment all the same. They are not very diff not different on it. And for the uh, continuous integration, we need to the first one like commit build. What is commit build? When I push our code, my code to GitHub, it will trigger immediately uh, to build my code and to get my get back to me that if uh, what I submit is okay or not. And I and also we need to fix integration issue in six minutes in uh, thirty minutes. That is also very important practice. And for the test management, uh, we will also have three parts. The first one, test strategy. We need the testing pyramid. It's a very uh, famous uh, measure to uh, do our um, testing. Yeah. And second one, the code quality. We need the code rules. And we need like the sonar cube to scan, and we need also to fix their bugs. Yeah, sonar cube is very famous mm, open source code quality tools in in the world. And they're about the uh, test automation. We need to run the uh, test in the pipeline in the continuous delivery pipeline. I will show you more details about it. And about the, we need also to automate it to. Uh, Analysis to analysis the misinformation. It's also important because the test automation will have a lot of uh, misinformation about the tech, uh, just the cost by the data or by the environment or by the other people's APIs. And the third, the first one, deploy and uh, uh, release management. Uh, we have deploy to frequently to the environment. And uh, about the deployment pipeline, we need the end-to-end -end pipeline. I will just to show you. And uh, the environment management, we need the infrastructure as code to like the container, your doc file to manage it, to describe our environment. About the data, data management, the sixth one, data management. First first part, the test, test data. Uh, we need a good data source. Maybe we could to export some data from the our um, production environment, but we need to uh, to notice that there is some data is where, um, we could not use it because it's very important or um, that it's not not uh, legal to use the data. And uh, about the second one, very important for the test data about the uh, data independency. Uh, if we have the data independency, uh, so we could run the uh, automation test, uh, uh, concurrent execution. Yeah, it's very important. Uh, and uh, about the data mag database migration, we need to know about the compatibility. And for the rollback, if there has some problem, we need to roll back soon. But like the, uh, just maybe uh, we have inserted our data, it's not very good. We need to delete it, delete it uh, immediately. And about the uh, six months, seven, uh, seven small about the measurement and the improvement, about the metrics. Yeah, about the metrics. I'm not. Uh, we need to know the metrics about the uh, formula or the user how to use it. About the measurement, driving improvement. We need the measurement system, and uh, we need to feedback the issue or the problem to the uh, software development team, and so they can improve it to fix it. Yeah, so this is a model maybe you could know. And uh, a lot of financial companies in China, like the SBC, CMB, Bank of China, or like the internet company about the Tencent, also have done their maturity model assessment. If you are just uh, interested for it, you can just contact me after your presentation. Yeah, this is the uh, DC Cops, I uh, know it. Yeah, this is a uh, uh, Gartner has just presented. There it is uh, just a uh, uh, model for this. Yeah.
I'll just, uh, uh, we will not go to the detail. You can see it a little later. And uh, we also found a lot of tools uh, of the development of the DevOps, uh, just like the uh, landscape of the APIs. You have found a lot of tools. You, you can just uh, to find it online and to uh, find the or uh, just uh, write the short code for you. And what we need most urgent to practice DevOps. The only answer is common of DevOps. Just uh, there is a, a status report from of DevOps in China have a, a statement that uh, uh, the factors holding back the DevOps transformation. The only, the first one, the first one factor is the lack of expert with DevOps experience slows their organizations down. That's a very important thing. Just uh, uh, in China, uh, a lot of people has confirmed, has uh, think it is our uh, uh, most important questions. So we need, we need the uh, player, we need the developer to uh, have a high skills, and we also have, uh, we also need their codes. Yeah, we need not only our, our just a good football team is not only the forward to shot to shoot or the full back to defense. We also have a coach to coach him. So uh, just the, the Devout Institute and the Adopt Foundation has a lot of uh, just a certification or the, just uh, to share with you. Then to, uh, about the DevOps enterprise, that is what I have, what I have passed. Uh, it's a certification will make you know about a lot of things about the DevOps, like the Lean uh, and Agile, the architecture, the continuous delivery, the test and automation, the test uh, technology operation, etc., etc., like that. Yeah. And so I have just uh, to uh, uh, introduce some. Uh, measure to practice, we call the MTF. And uh, uh, because it's uh, a workshop, yeah, so uh, DevOps is not only just uh, to uh, to talk, yeah. Uh, talk is easy, right? Show me your code, yeah. So it's a set of practice, so I'll introduce uh, some cases and uh, tools, yeah. Uh, this is uh, just uh, a logical, is it? it's a logical for the uh, DevOps pipeline. It's just like the pipeline in the just the factory, yeah, from the uh, code to deploy to the uh, production, yeah. So this is uh, just a logical for us, yeah. And it's very, uh, it's very difficult to understand. I think during the first time, so I will just uh, to uh, just introduce it for you. Yeah, the just the first line is for the uh, local development environment, and the second line, second name, second name is the pipeline based on Jenkins, which is the most popular CI/CD tool, and the third third name is the tool need to embed into the uh, pipeline, like the uh, maybe you maybe you know like the Swagger, yeah, yeah, and the, the Maven, JUnit, Solidcube and uh, the Jmeter, the test tool, like then. And the first one is the environment based on the Kubernetes. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, such as the test environment, staging environment, production environment. This start from a feature come from user to production, from, from user or product manager. Uh, this is Jira. Yeah, it's uh, uh, just a requirement management tool and the GitLab, like the GitHub. Yeah, so uh, we have a feature, we are just uh, create our feature brands and write your code on the feature brand. After finishing, we will push, push it to the GitLab and then we will trigger. Yeah, then we will trigger a commit state. After commit state, to, to, uh, in the commit state, we are just pull our code, compile it, and to just uh, to uh, code quality analysis to scan. If you have a problem, they will to fix it. They have to fix it. If they have passed, they will just create a merge request, like the GitHub, their uh, pull request to merge your code to the master branch. Yeah, when we have just merge, they will just trigger or by uh, just by the machine or by the just the uh, people will have a, a acceptance state. They will just build a Docker image. Yeah, build a Docker image and push it to the uh, harbor, 
just like the uh, uh, repository. And we will deploy it to the test environment and uh, we will run automatic acceptance test. After that, our just the tester could just come in to uh, do the manual test validation and the creator tag and release to the staging. Yeah, we have just passed the test. So we think we could to release it to the environment. So we have released to staging. Just in the staging environment, we will do the staging uh, state to the smoke test, to the performance test, to the security test. After the end, we will release to the production environment. Yeah, so we are just uh, do all the things to deploy to the production environment. So that is, uh, is a process. And in the environment, we will have the premises and uh, Grafana to monitor, yeah, to monitor the uh, system. So uh, just to show you. Uh, we have used uh, WebSox, the open source project. Yeah, it's a microservice project to uh, just to demo it for you. Yeah, this is zero. Sorry, that is our, our Chinese demo one, but I will show you. Then uh, the zero is a story, ma story map. There is a lot of feature on the right dashboard. Uh, there is a, uh, just a story that, uh, um, that says as a buyer, I want to buy our Christmas same socks uh, before the Christmas. So uh, so then I could to uh, uh, to 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 make it uh, happy to more happy to uh, get our gifts. Yeah. So that is our feature. I'll just uh, to drag the feature into uh, the maybe the two point version, and they will have some. Uh, to do list, yeah. I will drag, drag the to the from the to do list to the uh, to deploy to dep to developer, yeah, to the de developer, and uh, the developer could see it on the Kanban, yeah. That as I told you, then to let it see the Kanban, and I can drag, yeah. I can also to drag it from the to do to doing, yeah. Okay, I will then uh, send it to me. Yes, and drive it to the uh, to doing. So, so then I could just uh, to uh, go to uh, development. Yeah. So this is my local uh, the ID, technology idea. Yeah, I can open task because I have connected with Jira, so I could find it. Yeah. So the uh, 26, yeah, 26. So it will create a feature branch for me with the ID of Jira. So then we will do not uh, to figure out how to uh, name my feature. Yeah. So I'll just uh, to uh, uh, write something to uh, to change the code. Yeah. And then after I change the code, I will to compile it just locally. Yeah, so I, I just uh, to run the, to run it. Yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, after that, I have uh, the Alibaba code analysis. You will also to scan the code locally. You can there uh, is blocker and critical issue in your code, and I have used the Swagger. Yeah, you can use it. The order, it's an order. Yeah, other service, there is a swagger. We use a swagger to uh, make it clear. We could know how to use our API. And uh, I also had used a tool to make it. Yeah, after I commit, they will to automate it to add a message for me. So I didn't to uh, add more details. There is a link that I could use it. Yeah. After that, I'll just uh, to push the code to uh, my repository in GitLab. Yeah, so after that, I'll just go to my GitLab and I can could see this commit. And in this commit, I'll just uh, to check. Yeah, have you seen it? It's a commit build. I could see it to have send back, have get feedback that the uh, pipeline has passed. Yeah, we could go to the Jenkins. It's our Jenkins pipeline. Yeah. 
And uh, I could also check my sonar cube to find it. The order have passed the hard gate. My carriage, yeah, my carriage is uh, at this point. After I check, everything is good. I will to find the people to review my code. Yeah, to review my code. I, after I, I'll just show you. When I just uh, to submit it, yeah, there are other people will get the requir requirement to merge my code. He will also check it to side by side to check my call. After then, I think it's good and he will merge it. Yeah, right in to merge it. After then, my code have from merged from feature branch to master branch. Yeah, you can, you will see this. This is the, just a, a whole pipeline for the acceptance state from the checkout code to build to the component test to uh, generate the API docs and uh, the unit test and uh, the survey test publish post your image. After that, I have to deploy it to the test environment or I have bought it. I, put, I just uh, deploy it. So I will just do the manual test. When I finish it, if I just test passed or born, I will just click it. After that, we will go to the pre-release environment. Um, and we'll go after that, we will have the smoke test. Oh, I will release it or not. Yeah, this is the process. After that, we could to deploy it. Yeah, this is to deploy different version. Yeah, WebSocks, the front end, we have different, we have different, uh, uh, different component. Uh, we have uh, to deploy to 10%. After end, we'll have a check and go to the 100%. Yeah, this is uh, just, uh, yeah, you have seen? Yeah. So, this is a very, uh, it's a short demo to make you more clear about uh, what I see or what we do it. And uh, uh, at the last, I show you some something more. Then uh, this is uh, uh, just uh, a system, yeah, certification certification system from the uh, Devop Institute. Uh, they are just uh, uh, in US. It's a very famous uh, DevOps, uh, uh, DevOps certification agent. Uh, they are just using their T shape, yeah, T shape to uh, guide what they are doing. And about the DOPS Foundation, yeah, just uh, I work for the DOPS Foundation. I also want to show you that uh, uh, it's organ, uh, it's just uh, uh, a non profit organization just uh, to found in Singapore, US, and UK. Uh, their, their mission is to uh, Commit to accelerating global digital transformation through technical standards. They are not doing their open source software. They are doing their open source standard. Uh, they focus on digital uh, uh, the digitization, and uh, uh, we also want to make a cultural fusion and to mix their uh, their east culture and the west culture. Yeah. If you are yeah, interested, you could find it in this website. Yeah. That's the Dot org. Yeah, uh, as I'm from Beijing, so I have at last I have just other few attraction image for you uh, in Beijing, your Great Wall, your Forbidden City, your Mountain Soho, and uh, just uh, like the stadium, your nest, yeah, and your uh, CCTV tower. Yeah, it's just a uh, very uh, welcome uh, you people to uh, come to Beijing to enjoy. Yeah, it's a very beautiful place. Yeah, that's all for today. And uh, I hope it could be uh, helpful in the last 50, 50 minutes. Yeah, thank you for uh, your listening. If you uh, want to connect more details, I want to communicate, you can add my uh, LinkedIn account. Yeah, you could scan it. Uh, there is not a practice for us. Yeah, so thank you for listening and uh, see you next time. Thank you.